بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم فرینڈس السلام علیکم آئی ایم مبین جونس اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ماسٹر جی ڈاٹ کام فرینڈس ٹوڈے ویل ڈسکس دا ٹائپس آف اے مائکروسکوپ دے آر بیسکلی ٹو ٹائپس آف مائکروسکوپ لائٹ مائکروسکوپ اینڈ الیکٹران مائکروسکوپ دے آر فردر تھری ٹائپس آف این الیکٹران مائکروسکوپ دیز آر ٹرانسمیشن الیکٹران مائکروسکوپ ٹی ای ایم scanning electron microscope SEM and reflection electron microscope REM Similarly there are two types of light microscope these are simple microscope and compound microscope Compound microscopes has further different varieties and types The first one is standard microscope inverted microscope then stereo microscope metallurgic microscope uv microscope or ultraviolet microscope fluorescence microscope digital microscope dark field microscope phase contrast microscope today we will discuss in detail all the types which i have told you in detail first we will discuss about the light microscope the light microscope is also called the optical microscope This is also a type of compound microscope that is used to view microorganisms. The light microscope has different lenses that help magnify image of the microscope or specimens loaded on the microorganism stage. The eyepieces have a magnification power of 10x or 16s. The light microscopes are the type of microscopes used in anatomy and physiology laboratories. in order to observe small animals plants metal samples and microorganisms like bacteria or viruses in detail the light microscope can magnify a specimen about 1500 times and used in many areas of biology anatomy and physiology this microscope uses visible light and a system of lenses to magnify the images of the samples manifold The basic type of optical or light microscope is very simple. However, many complex designs have been invented that helps give better resolution images. Thus, light microscope has been divided into different configurations. It has two types: simple microscope and compound microscope. A simple microscope or single lens microscope uses just one lens for magnification of the sample. It is the original light microscope that is now considered primitive. It uses a single convex lens that is commonly observed in the loop. Compound microscope. The most commonly used microscope and the integral part of a school or college lab is the compound microscope. The compound microscope uses two optical parts called the ocular lenses and the objective lens. The compound microscope are the types of microscope used in biology to observe bacterial, algal, protozoa as well as animals and plant cells. These microscopes are heavier and larger than simple microscopes. These collect the light from sample with the help of multiple lenses. A separate set of lenses is used to focus the light into the eye to form an image. There are different type of compound microscopes. Some of the basic types are discussed here. The first type of compound microscope is standard microscope. The standard microscope consists of an eyepiece lens that is in line with the receiving nose piece. The nose piece holds two or more objective lenses. The light passes from the stage through a hole into the sample from the sample it passes to the lens the images are enlarged 4x 10x 40x and 100x according to the objective lens fitted on the revolving nose piece the second type of compound microscope is the inverted microscope an inverted microscope is actually an upside down microscope This involves the viewing the sample from an inverted position that helps the viewer see on the upright images of the sample. This microscope is useful for viewing liquid cell cultures also helps viewing thick or large specimen clearly. 
The third type of compound microscope is stereo microscope. Dissecting microscope or stereo microscope have low magnification power. These two are types of light microscopes that help in observing specimen that are a bit larger in size. It contains two optical paths that are at different angles and help the user to see the specimen in three dimensions. The dissecting microscopes are the types of microscopes used in anatomy and physiology laboratories for carrying out microsurgery, dissection as well as different forensic operations. The fourth type of compound microscope is metallurgic microscope. A metallurgical microscope is a microscope used in observation of the metal, plastic, ceramic as well as other material samples. They help in observing the surface of structure, metal, etc. The next type of compound microscope is UV microscope or ultraviolet microscope. A UV microscope uses UV light to produce an image that is twice the resolution seen in visible light microscopy. Mercury, arc or xenon burner is used as the source of UV light. As UV light is harmful to human eye, a digital sensor or a photographic film is produced to help observe the image. The next type of compound microscope is fluorescence microscope. Fluorescence microscope uses high energy short wavelength light that excites the electron of certain molecule present within the sample. This causes the electrons to shift into higher orbit and when they come back to their original energy levels, they emit low energy, long wavelength light. This light within the visible spectrum that helps in formation of an image. The next type of compound microscope is digital microscope. A digital microscope uses optical lenses as well as CCD sensor. It provides a 100x magnification power. It is used to achieve high quality recorded images of the specimen. The commonly used digital microscope has a 15 inch monitor and 2 million pixel camera. The digital CCD camera is attached to the microscope that is turned to an LCD monitor or computer. Dark field microscope Dark field microscope is used to observe light spirochetes. This microscope uses a special condenser lens that helps scattering light of the specimen at the angle. The result is such that any light object is seen on a dark background. That is why this is called as dark field microscope. The last type of compound microscope we will discuss here is the phase contrast microscope. The phase contrast microscope use special condensers that help in throwing the light out of the phase. This helps the light passes through the object at different speed. The phase contrast microscope is one of the basic types of microscopes used in biology to view and understand specimen. It is one of the types of microscopes used to study cell and cell parts like mitochondria, lysozymes, Golgi bodies using Golgi bodies. Now we will discuss about the electron microscope. The electron microscope is one of the most advanced microscope used today. This microscope is powered by a beam of electron with very short wavelength. Electron strikes objects that come into its path and help increase the resolution of the microscope. The electron microscope is one of the types of microscope used to study cells as well as larger molecules. There are different types of electron microscopes which are transmission electron microscopes, scanning electron microscope and reflection electron microscope. First we will discuss transmission electron microscope. The TEM is used to study cells that are ultra thin of microorganisms like viruses. These viruses are placed on a wire grid. Then these cells are stained with gold or platinum and then used to observe under a transmission electron microscope. 
the electron beam is deflected on the densely coated parts of the cell and the image is observed on dark and light background scanning electron microscope is also a type of electron microscope with magnification power higher than a transmission electron microscope however this microscope help in view three dimensional image of microorganisms and other specimen gold and platinum is used to stain the specimen mounted on a scanning electron microscope reflection electron microscope uses an electron beam that is incident on a surface however instead of following the principles of tem or sem that are transmission electron microscope or scanning electron microscope the reflection electron microscope detects elastically scattered electrons so friends this was our today's lecture about the types of the microscope hope this topic has been clear to you to view more informational videos like subscribe and share our channel We will see you in the next topic in the next lecture inshallah allah hafiz